you, Kai. Well, we now are going into the thrilling part of the meeting. Does uh, everybody know what that is? Table it's topic. when you are put on the spot and asked to speak about something that you know nothing about, just like the president. <laughs> you too can be the president. So. Table topics are really an important part of the public speaking training you get here at the Toastmasters because it is quite often if you are in the professional sphere that you are put on the spot and saying, um, Harvey, what do you think about this? You know, and, and you've had no time. No comment. Okay, right. So, to lead us in this uh, exercise, Please welcome the table topic master for the day, Mahesh. <coughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Yeah, it's my pleasure to do table topics today. Uh, our today's theme is dream and dreaming. Uh, so, just uh, a word about my uh, my uh, comment about this uh, theme. So, I dream a lot and obviously I use it uh, for my goal setting. But one thing I'm realizing now is that following up on your dreams is also equally important in order to not seeing the same dreams again and again. And in order to see new dreams, you need to really follow up on, on your existing dreams and to make progress on them. Otherwise, you'll just keep, uh, the dreams will keep repeating. Having said that, uh, I'm going to now, as uh, Arthur said, I'm going to uh, put somebody on spot and ask them. So uh, if you have a role, please let me know. But uh, I'll try to uh, ask you a question and I'm going to pick up on one of the guests as well. Who doesn't have a question? Do Pete. Yeah. Right. So uh, Pete, uh, would you like to come up? And so uh, the topic here is that so Dr. Martin Luther King said, uh, I have a dream about 50 years ago. So if you have the same opportunity to, uh, today to make your I have a dream speech, what would that be, uh, that be about? So I have 60 seconds to become Mark Luther King. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's uh, quite a, a small thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. let me, uh, I'm going to segue a bit, because um, some of the things we were talking about with dreams. Uh, Hi, if you're a, the owner of white Lexus, license plate 344BE6, please come to the front desk. Again, white Lexus 344BE6, please come to the front desk. So some of the dreams we were talking about earlier, I've got all of them. I've got the, uh, I'm about to take a test and I haven't studied for it. I'm about to get on a plane and I haven't packed. I'm about to have a meeting and I haven't gotten ready for it. So those are some of the dreams I've had. But if I was, I think we need a Martin Luther King right now because some of the things that are going on right now in, with our government, I guess my dream would be to open, open the government. A number of people that I'm, uh, friendly with are being impacted by this right now. So my big dream would be to, it's pretty simple, to open the government. My other big dream is the Patriots win this weekend. <laughs> I don't think that's Martin Luther King, but yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> okay, so uh, the second question is, to, we have two guests and a third guest that have the option, but as guests they can also politely decline. Okay. Members cannot decline. I can speak. No, no, no. Sure. So, okay. Uh, so Lindsay, if you want to come up and speak about it. Uh, So what is your dream vacation and why? And if you already had one, uh, tell us about it. Okay, holding a microphone. 
Um, hi, I'm Lindsay Bottom. I, um, I'm new to the group, as everyone knows. Uh, so my dream vacation, um, so actually growing up, um, we didn't travel much. The big trip was to go to something like Disney World. Uh, my dad's the type of guy that said there's no good place other to see than what's in the US. Um, he just grew up that way too. So I had always dreamed to travel abroad. My uh, number one place that I wanted to go was Thailand. Um, and I, I did get to go there um, after I got married. My honeymoon, that was my big you know, ask to uh, have the honeymoon. I didn't care so much about the wedding. I more cared about the honeymoon in Thailand. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, and it was a great experience. I'm very interested in Buddhist culture. I got to go to a lot of temples. Um, in addition to that, I got to go to a wellness retreat uh, that was eye-opening. Um, it actually, I, the, uh, the diet there was vegan, um, plant-based. It changed the way I ate. Uh, so, I came back with that, and that was a couple of years ago. I'm still going on to it, and I had a <coughs> great experience, other than the 24-hour flight. But, yeah, it's to be expected when you go all the way to Thailand. Nice. Thanks. Can I one more? Uh, yeah, yes, we, we can do it. We can do it. Uh, okay, uh, we'll do it quick. So. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, you, Ramiro, to come up and answer this question. So what was your dream when you were a child? And looking back, what do you think about it? That's a good question. Thank you so much. Uh, that takes me back a few years. Uh, I dream that I was going to become a bull rider. Uh, I don't know if anyone knows what it is. It's riding bulls. And uh, when I didn't watch, I didn't have TV at home or anything like that. And and I had a dream when I was seven that I was riding bulls and the people were clapping and I uh, had that exciting feeling. And uh, when I was around 10, I started riding some little bulls uh, in our farm. And so, when I had the first time, when I was 12, to ride a real uh, kind of uh, little town fair rodeo, and uh, and I experienced the same feeling that I experienced when I was seven, including my dream, which was something very, very exciting. And I strongly believe in, in dreams. Uh, since that happened, to be a dream when I was seven and then uh, became a reality. Um, it feels so, so, so powerful to feel that when you are dreaming and then to feel the same thing when it becomes a reality is something very, very, very powerful. So now I, I dream and I had many dreams and that's why I'm here because I want to become somebody else. Uh, probably impact the world in a different way. Uh, thank you. Thank you.